Good morning, this is Mark Millett coming to you from Bucharest, Romania with Morning Mana. Listen to a little bit of this song right here. Oh, the cross upon which Lord Jesus died is a shelter in which we can hide. I and His grace is so free, it's sufficient oh, for me. As deep as a fountain and wide as the sea. Oh, there's room at the cross for you. Yes, there's room at the cross for you. I have come There's still room for one There's room at the cross for you Now stay with me. I have a message from the Lord for you this morning. Good morning. This is Mark Millett on this 19th of September, Monday morning. And I'm so glad you're with us here from Bucharest, Romania. Uh, in Eastern Europe. This is out in the courtyard where you can hear the birds singing. The, we have a dog, or two dogs, barking once in a while. In the next yard over, we have a house over here we rented. And here's a church building where we're meeting at and we work out of. And we have our staff here, which it's about three people. That's our whole staff, maybe four. But we're so thankful to the Lord for every one of them. Now, we've been teaching in our school or our Bible school we have with men. We treat... See, the Bible says not go, ye, he didn't say just go ye in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He said, but teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I've commanded you. And so the idea is to make disciples of Christ, of these men. Make them disciples for Christ, these men's disciples of Christ. Now, we try to take them back and show them, and I want to teach you what it means about the first Adam. You see, when somebody asks you whose image and likeness were you created in, Everybody says, and I said it for years, Adam. No, I mean God. That's what we say. We're made in the image of God and likeness of God, in his own image and likeness. Not really. Adam was, but you wasn't. I wasn't. The Bible tells us in chapter 5, listen to what he says here. And Adam lived 130 years and he begot a son in his own likeness after his own image. And then he goes on and tells us that he lived to be 930 years old before he died, physically. He died the day he ate that fruit spiritually. And that same image was passed on to you. You know why? That you, nobody had to teach you how to lie. No one had to teach you how to steal. No one had to teach you how to kill. Well, Brother Martin, I never killed anybody. Oh, come on. You're worse than Cain, if you're being honest about all the people that you've hated. How many people have you in your lifetime wish, I wish they were dead. I wish you had to get hit by a car or lightning hit them or something. Listen, it's in every one of us until we meet the last Adam, the Lord Jesus, who quickens us in our spirit. And this is what I want to teach you. The first Adam, he was ruler over everything. God gave him dominion over all the works of his hands, even the stars and the sky and the moon. Everything was put under his dominion. Under his feet, you could say. Amen? And the Bible says when he sold out to the devil, according to Luke. Listen to what it says in Luke. You say, how did it happen? Well, in Luke chapter 6, I mean chapter 4, it is very clear. Let me read this to you. Luke 4 and verse 6. So you know I'm not just pulling this out of some kind of my hat. Amen? And the devil said unto him, this is when the devil took Jesus up on the mountain and tempted him. For 40 days the Lord fasted. He fasted 40 days, and then the devil took him. And this is what it said to him. And he said unto him, the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee in the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me. When was it delivered unto him? He said, And to whosoever I will, I give it. You see, the devil is the God of this world right now because the first Adam sold out when he sinned against God. It was high treason. Amen? Everything God gave him, he put it in the hand. It's like a, like a contract or like a, a deed. Amen? He gave it to the devil and it's still 
good until the end of the Gentile, the age of the Gentile, which is very close. That's why the devil knows his time is short, amen? This thing is fixing to wind up. And I'm telling you, if you learn who you are in Christ and what Christ has done for you, when he comes in and lives, you become a new creature. You have Christ living in you. The last Adam, amen? What happened to the first Adam? He's crucified with Christ. The Bible said, what? No, you're not. That the old man was crucified with Christ. You don't have any dogs living in you. I don't care what any preacher tells you. Dogs don't go into heaven. Jesus didn't have any dogs in him. Not a white dog, not a black dog, not a gray dog. You have Jesus Christ living in you, and you're more than a conqueror in Christ, and greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world. And you have more power and authority than the devil does, if you want to know the truth about it. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday, the 20th. In Jesus' name, amen.